how do you know when your idea is good enough to go to market? I'm going to reverse the natural course of things, and I'm actually going to ask you that question, because I bet you see a lot of ideas come your way. How do you know when your idea is good enough to come to market? Um, you know, it's, we, have, we have 20 isms at our company, and, um, you know, you'll, it, you'll... What's your favorite ism of the isms? Um, money and numbers follow, they do not lead. That's my favorite. But um, one is, uh, you'll see it when you believe it, which is the, the, the first. So that's how I'd answer that question. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's market research. I'm sure there's those kinds of things. But when you're willing to, when you're willing to invest your life's blood and in, in your thinking and put your shoulder into an idea because you believe it in your soul, that's when it's ready. doesn't mean it'll work, but that's when it's ready for you to launch. That's the way I would think about right. it. Right. So you can't always crowdsource ideas. You just have to kind of go with it yep. for... Okay, we're going to take the question for you, Levi. Is electric bike coming to India? Mm. That's a small part. What are the marketing strategies that your company is focused on so far? And I'm going to ask that to you as well, Claire. Sure. Yeah, India, super awesome. Massive demand for our bikes there, actually. But uh, right now, there's just an overwhelming demand uh, here in just the States. So there's a lot of places we still need to expand to. Um, so that's a no. It's a no for now, but you know the mar you know marketing strategies we use is we've had tremendous success working with uh, YouTube influencers. Uh, that's something you where gave your first eight bikes away for free, right, to eight influencers, and that's how you yeah. So we had no money for marketing or inventory, so we started with a pre-order. We gave we made about ten bikes, used two for our own content creation, and then the other eight. This is you know, 2019, our initial run, but for YouTube influencers, and then those eight created about $8 million in uh, pre-orders for us. And it's like, that's great return, that's right? That's great return. Well, I have to give kudos. I think you were incredibly creative at the start for Amp Flow. Not that that's not creative, that's wonderful. But I want to hear a bit about what was your strategy. You can't just give away free <laughs> menstrual products. That's not a winning um, so we, uh, right, we designed a free vend tampon and pad dispenser. Businesses purchase the dispenser and replace the coin operated dispenser and then offer the products for free. And I started this company in Ohio um, four years ago. And over the past year, it's now legislation has passed requiring businesses and schools to offer freely accessible menstrual products. In fact, just yesterday, California passed legislation requiring Yay. all schools, right, to offer freely accessible menstrual products. And you think, wow, like, if toilet paper is offered for free, why aren't tampons and pads? And so our marketing strategy has really just been talking about it because so often we don't talk about menstruation. And so like right here today, just having a panel and asking to the audience and everyone, if toilet paper is offered for free, why aren't tampons and pads? That is That's our marketing That's an existential strategy. question, but I'm glad you're addressing it for 